The government says security is at its highest level for the Super Bowl in Houston, and we now know two political VIPs will be at the game. Hi there and good evening. I'm Steve Eager. First on Fox 4 News at 5.30 tonight, sources with the Trump White House say Vice President Mike Pence will attend Super Bowl 51 on Sunday. Of course, the game airs on Fox 4. And former President George H.W. Bush will be there as well to perform the coin flip. Houston police say the anti-Trump protests were anticipated and they've already started. Several groups are looking for the exposure of the world's biggest sporting event. Fox 4's Allison Harris is at the fan experience tonight with a look at security for this weekend's event. Hi, Allison. Hi, Steve. It takes years to plan a Super Bowl. This Super Bowl has been in the works for four years now since 2013. A big part of that is security. And with the current political climate, the city is preparing for protests. A million people are expected to move through Houston for the Super Bowl. All eyes around the world will be on this event. More than 40 federal agencies have worked on the security plan. There are a thousand officers on the ground and Homeland Security officers flying overhead in Blackhawks. Downtown near the convention center, you can't go far without seeing a surveillance camera, law enforcement officer, or canine. And there are new signs at NRG Stadium where metal detectors are up and streets are cordoned off. Security is always our top priority. And we look to balance that with minimal inconvenience to the fans as they experience the event. The FBI says there is no credible threat to the Super Bowl, but there are protests planned. This week, a dozen representatives from grassroots protest groups gathered at an undisclosed location in downtown Houston to plan an anti-Trump march on Super Bowl Sunday. This is showing solidarity. This is showing presence. This is showing opposition. The meeting was invite only. Blake Stroud with Resist Houston was there. He expects at least a thousand people to rally against President Trump's immigration policies. There's absolutely no reason for anyone to suspect that anything dangerous, anything threatening is going to be happening. Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo says authorities have prepared for and are expecting protests. Physical security, cyber security. We've got it uh, on the air and the ground. We've got it uh, with cameras. We've got it in uniform. We've got it the plain clothes. We've got canine. Uh, you, if you think of, of it, we've, we've thought of it. And uh, so it's, now it's a matter of uh, coming through to the finish line. Protests are planned tomorrow and Sunday, some of them down, downtown and then on Sunday, culminating at NRG Stadium for the big game. A Homeland Security spokesperson reiterated that line. If you see something, say something for NFL fans who are here. Steve. Okay, Allison Harris, thank you very much.